Hey guys, this is Colin. This is video blog three. I went like this, two, because we just did two five minutes ago. We're doing number three right now. That's why I'm wearing the exact same thing. Don't think that I come to work dressed like this every day. We're trying to bust out these blogs back to back for you guys. Need to think stress. She's looking through the window again. There she is. She's like, what are you guys doing in there? Blah, blah, blah. Uh, she turns away. Okay. She saw the camera. So, yeah, she doesn't want to be on camera. <laughs> Come on, come on in, Casey. Welcome. I just need to talk to you whenever you get the chance. Oh, good, bad. <laughs> that means it's bad. Uh oh. So let's get into what I want to talk talk about for this for video blog number three. Um, I want to talk about sales. You know, stocking your showrooms, those types, those types of things. Um, actually, it'd probably be better if we got into the showroom to talk about this stuff. So let's go in the showroom. I'm gonna show you our showroom a little bit, give you give you a little mini tour of what's going on. So, look. oh look, customer, say hi everybody. Hi, hi everybody. I like the In-N-Out shirt. <laughs> so so check it out. Like in 2010, we actually had a wall right here. You see where these poles are? We had a wall right here, and we had one line of scooters. So you see where the scooter the scooter starts? And we had a line that goes all the way down to the window where these feedback work. And we used to have a sign, you know, if we had this model, you know, if we had a model, we basically have one, one color. And we would say this model also comes in matte green, matte black, and white. And we'd have a, we'd have a sign on there that says all that. Well, my theory was if we ended up busting out the wall to make room where we could display every single color, I asked myself, would our sales go up? And the answer was yes. I, I determined that if we were able to display one of each model of each color in the showroom, that our sales would go up because people don't want to wait. It's hard for people to get that visual. If I'm, you know, if I only stock in red and they can't see that there's a white one available also, you might not, you might lose a customer because they don't know that there's a white one there. So I decided to do that and sure enough, it's helped a lot. So 2010, busted out this wall. And we came in here, you can see our showroom is very clean, a lot of fine lines. You know, this is important. It's important to, to stock fully. You gotta have a full stock of scooters. And like I said, have one of each color. You know, make sure if you run out of colors, get another one in. This hole right here, I can tell you, this hole right here is driving me crazy right now. The only reason it exists is because we sold a scooter today and we pulled it out. So our team knows to go ahead and get one on, get another one brought back to the shop. And one thing that you guys can do, and I, I really consider this, a lot of people don't have an off-site location. You know, we have a warehouse just about 15 minutes from here that is, has cheap rent, and we stock, you know, we stock a couple hundred scooters in there. That way, if we sell a scooter, guess what? This hole will be filled by tomorrow because our team's gonna go out there and pick up another one, and they're gonna get another one brought right back here. Whereas a lot of people will go and leave holes in their dealership floor for weeks before they actually restock. Don't do that. You need to have a full showroom. People need to be able to come in and buy and buy a scooter and get it then. So what else in terms of sales? I would say one of the things that we're, I would say that some of the distributors actually dis disagree with the way we do things in terms of sales. And that one thing is commission. Our dealership is not a commission-based dealership. Um, none of our team members make commission. The reason I've decided to do that is simply because I don't want any pressure to be put on my customers. I'm sure all of you have gone to a car dealership to buy a car and you get swarmed, right? All the people come, they swarm you, and all of a sudden there's just like all this pressure and it's really, really uncomfortable. We're not about, you know, upselling or, you know, or, I mean, we, uh, let me rephrase that. Upselling is important, but we want to help our customer find a scooter that's the right fit for them. We don't want to, you know, press them into buying something that they're not comfortable driving, that's going to be unsafe for them, that maybe is too big for them. You know, would I love to sell a lot of Vespa GTS 300s? Yes, but is that the perfect scooter for an 18-year-old girl? Probably not. So those types of things are important. So we, don't, we want to basically help the customer find the scooter that's the right fit for them and not put that pressure. So we don't do commission. Now, I, I want to make sure that I'm being clear with this video blog. You're going to find a lot of things that work for you guys that are different than what we do, and that's okay. I would actually love to hear some of the things that work for you guys and, you know, that are different than what we do. Um, but we don't do commission. So I think that's it. Awesome. Am I missing anything? Yeah, I think so. 
That was a nice short video on sales. We're gonna get back into more sales stuff. We actually have some special things that we do with pricing and some of the different things um, that set us apart from other dealerships and we'll talk about those as well. But we'll do that on another day. So I wish everybody an awesome week. It's spring break here in Gainesville. It's actually been busier than I thought it would be. But that's awesome. So hope everybody else has a great spring, spring break, great March, it's nice and warm here. And uh, we'll see you later, bye. Guys, with your help, we're gonna make the we're gonna change the retail world. We're gonna make it awesome once again. We're gonna bring customer service back. We're gonna do all those types of things. If you are a scooter dealership, a retail business, and, and you like what you saw, then then share, comment, like, do all of those types of things. Uh, what was the other one? Subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs> share, like, comment, subscribe. Do it! Alright? So and um and yeah, and if you totally hated it, well then just uh you know, don't watch ever again. Just ignore it and don't say anything. <laughs>